interesting evening experiment. And uh, of course, welcome our great bard, Jonathan Mann. So, ooh, so maybe, because it's a really magical evening today, maybe we should start with some magical tunes. I don't know. associated member, let's call it that way. So, good friend of mine, and uh, it's an experiment. So, we'll try what we can. We don't know if it will work out. Uh, we'll see. But first question to you is, who knows pen and paper role playing? And who, who knows it, just knows it? And who actually played it? background is that, GURPS, the generic universal role-playing system, and I've played it for a long, 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 long time, and, you know, cyberpunk and space and, of course, fantasy, all that stuff. It was very interesting because when I played it when I was like 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, it was the first time when I actually, myself and my friends, when we actually started doing monochrome, so role-playing was a major impact on what we did then and what kind of artificial, uh, like, uh, like uh, artistic and technological and whatever ideas we had. So role playing somehow helped us like to create narratives and to play with that and uh, to actually to practice acting and stuff like that. And role playing can be a highly psychological and interesting thing. So if you have not done it yet, you should probably do it. And GURPS is not a bad thing to start because it's actually pretty basic and well, you need a couple of, you need a table, you need some, uh, you need some like really interesting things called Würfel, Dice, yes, just checking your vocabulary, uh, yeah, big ones for today, okay, we have Dice, and another one, and of course, but they're so small, but it's like a percent dice, and it's a 20 dice, of course. That's really, really, really important. So you need a sheet of paper, you write down your stuff. There is a pretty complicated or sometimes simple, but uh, uh, interesting, like it's different in different systems, how you create your character. What's your name? What strength do you have? What kind of uh, special abilities and tools and blah, blah, blah. You write that down, you need dice, and what you can do is create wonderful worlds of fantasy. Uh, fantasy, actually, and bloodshed. Especially this kind of <laughs> bloodshed, okay? So, and now it's blank. And this screen actually will stay blank for the next 90 minutes or whatever, how long it will take us, because it's the realm of magic and wonder and imagination. So, uh, a big applause for our two main role players, Nick Farr and Ivory King. <laughs> place and you can talk about many 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 things and we talked about their characters so let me introduce the characters we have the role play today will be called harsh conditions okay and uh, it plays 
in, uh, it's situated in Cologne, actually in the Cologne of 2019. In the year 2012, that's this picture here, something really crazy happened. Some say it's the Maya calendar kind of thing, other people say it was just like some giant earthquake, some really, really crazy shit happened in 2012, pretty much all over the planet. In the United States of America, they don't actually exist anymore. There's like the Confederate States now, and the rest is pretty much Quebec, because the French took back the rest. There's a little bit of Texas still like now, somehow going, Texas is half like Mexican, and half back to the Indians, and it's a crazy shit happening there. And of course, in Europe, the same. Germany doesn't exist anymore. There's this really nice feeling of uh, 1812 or something like that. Many, many small city-states and they fight against each other. There's Berlin, but Berlin is pretty much fucked up. It's even more fucked up than uh, today. And pretty much like Germany is pretty much like a very, very fucked up version of Berlin, okay? <laughs> All of it, yeah? Uh, like Cologne. And, but after all, it's not that bad because it looks like that, okay? Cologne, 2019, okay? <laughs> And uh, our two main characters, they will meet other characters later on, but our main characters are Jesus McKinsey. <laughs> yes, and Jesus McKinsey actually is from the former United States of America. He is actually from, from uh, the wonderful city of Washington DC in Quebec. Yeah, he doesn't, sp <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't speak French. Uh, and he is actually working in the media business. So tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, Jesus McKinsey is a network news reporter that doesn't actually work for a real network. He's an up and coming sort of guy. He's going to clone to, to try to find out what the story is and take it back home and try to make a name for himself in the world of new media, which is still new media and will forever be new media even in you know, the mid 21st century. He's pretty much like an old school video blogger. That's because because it it's the future. We can call ourselves old school now. Yes. So that's Jesus, and Jesus, of course, uh, he needs uh, because a video blogger, especially like a rising video blogger, needs assistance, and that's why he has a colleague, and that's Gunnar van der Leg. <laughs> Gunnar van der Leg is actually from uh, former Holland. It's now called Flam. Okay, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's actually why she fled from there, so, but that's good. And she's actually a mercenary, but also a very good camera woman. So she's pretty much the camera team and protector of Jesus, okay? Yeah, okay. Any, any comments about your life? We pretty pretty well covered it, but I mean, she, yeah, she's a, she's a hardworking, no-nonsense, tough career bodyguard and, um, you know, she uh, she does she does a lot of work for the man, and and someday she hopes that she'll get recognized for it. So, and what only I know about them is their secret abilities and their secret tools they have. So, I mean, actually, do you want to talk about your secret tools, or do you want to keep them secret? Yeah. Um, I, I have two secret abilities. I, I wouldn't quite call them secret abilities, but you know, when, when we were talking about this earlier, they said, oh, those definitely sound like two great secret abilities. Um, the first one is, I can Google anything with my mind, that if I just need to find something, I just go it's a cool, think it's about it. It's a cool it implant, and, yeah. yeah it, is, it is an implant, but uh, the, the Google equivalent in the future, I can... No, it's actually, it's Google, because you, write, you wrote down Google on the thing. Uh, I will tell you what happened to Google later on when you tried to use your implant, but... Um, that, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that, okay? And oh, well, you forgot my second one. Huh? You forgot my second one. You forgot the second and one. Which isn't really out. a skill because, you know, this, this whole cloud banking thing, I, my, my ATM actually exists in the clouds, but I, I'm the only one that knows how to use the cloud-based ATM and nobody else in the game does, so when I need to pull money out of my account. Yeah, yeah, you, you pretty much, it's like, it's like an ATM of air, so like you can teleport money out of air. It, actually, it's connected to your bank account, so let's see how much money is on your bank account, but you can pull money out of air. That's uh, pretty cool. Cloud banking, yes. Um, good. Okay. And do you want to talk about your stuff? Um, I, I don't really I like mean, you, ac you actually could, but because it's your portfolio, I mean, maybe someone wants to book you like for future like 
mercenary jobs and stuff. I don't yeah, know. that's true. I mean, I, I, um, I, I can fly helicopters, and I also um, can speed read in six languages. Oh, wow. Okay. What? Yes. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. So, and now we'll start with the actual playing, like the role playing thing. And uh, yeah, you'll see, you'll get a feeling for how like role playing works. So, because I'm the game master, I'm pretty much God, and that's my uh, mini God. Uh, <laughs> yes. And uh, uh, we'll start. Uh, it's a wonderful warm uh, like a spring morning in uh, Cologne. It's a little bit dusty, smoky. I guess there's a little bit of nice nuclear breeze coming from one of the nuclear power plants exploding somewhere in, in what the fuck it's called. And uh, it's nice. And, uh, and Jesus gets a message on his really old Blackberry, okay? Oh, and the message pretty much reads, we have a job for you. Please research about possible... Uh, corruption in the Cologne city government. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, so, and it specifically says, go to the department of dragon pest control. Okay, it seems that there is a Cologne department for dragons and pest controlling dragons. So, so it's the department of the right, dragon slaying of the city government of Cologne. And, uh, but by the way, you know that, that's pretty common. Like after all the, the nuclear explosions and stuff, like lizards grow and stuff, that's, that's pretty common, okay? It's nothing new about like dragon problems uh, in Cologne, okay? So, but there seems to be some kind of corruption there going on and I, I think that your, uh, whoever booked you Wants, uh, wants a report about that, okay? And so, what are you going to do? <laughs> come, 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 not whisper at all. I, I have to confer with, with my special assistant. We have to make- Talk to her, talk to her. Okay, well, I, obviously we're gonna have to go to the office somehow and find a way to infiltrate it, figure out. What exactly is the corruption going on in the office? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually find a nice observation point where we can gradually observe what's going on in the office. Get a feel for who's coming and going. Okay. Figure out what's, what, what possible areas and vectors do we have for infiltrating the office and figuring out what exactly the corruption that's going on is. But first, I must Google everything there is to know about the office. Okay. Of Dragon uh, Slaying, it's history. You, you, you're it's trying people. to Google? Uh, yes. So, Google, it's still online? Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's slow, it takes some time. It's pretty much the Alta Vista of tomorrow. <laughs> so it's, uh, <laughs> takes some time. Uh, you download information and uh, yeah, you get an address and an official homepage. It's in 3D and there's a nice young lady dancing for you. Uh, so it's, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's even a telephone number, a fax number. Oh my God, they have still fax numbers. Okay, yeah. So what do you want? Well, they have a fax number and everybody believes everything they get faxed. I mean, the so usual procedure would be to like go there. Yeah, no, yeah, that would be, but... but Okay, we're gonna go there. Okay, you're going there. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I, I just say you take the cab, okay? Or C can't want... we take the helicopter? No, she, <laughs> she she doesn't have a helicopter. Thing. She has the skill to use a helicopter, but she doesn't have a helicopter. Does pseudo work here? No. <sighs> I was just gonna say pseudo. I mean, if you have an if, if, pseudo, make me a helicopter. I mean, you could try to 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 cloud bank enough money to buy a helicopter, but I don't know. Actually, can I check my balance? Yes. Okay. What, what's my balance? Seven hundred sixty-eight Confederate dollars. So, so how much will that buy? <sighs> a nice meal. <laughs> a vegan meal. 
<laughs> You're a vegan? That's a handicap. <laughs> um, a, a meal with lots and lots of steak and other animal products? Uh, of course, but does it help you? I don't know, you're God, you tell me. God is not taking care about your... That, that's your personal sin if you eat meat or not. Okay, so, so no helicopters? No. Okay, we're no. taking a taxi then. <laughs> I mean, actually you can invest time into getting a helicopter, but uh, that would be probably hard. Well, well should, should we take the taxi? I, I think that would probably be a even quicker way. Okay, we're, we're going to take the taxi to the office. Okay, roll the dice. Oh, six, perfect. You find a cab, brings you to the department. Perfect. Okay, so you there, what are you doing? We're standing outside, watching who's coming and who's going. Yeah, there are people going in and out. Yeah. Basically, because I have an attractive assistant, I'm waiting to see somebody from the office, somebody come out of the office and make a pass at my assistant so that she could possibly, you know, use her kung fu to, um, is that, is that going to work? Am I going down? Okay, so, so she can possibly use her skills to seduce the guy, use, and then um, like get his credentials so that I can enter the office and pretend I'm a new guy employee. Like, can we just go in and disguise or something? Can, can I take a vote? Okay, how many, how many people vote for the she kicks some creepy guy's ass and we go in with his keys route? Okay, how many people vote for the boring we just get some disguises and go in. I guess that's why the conference is called SIGINT. Okay, we're, we're, we're waiting for a creepy guy so she can kick his ass. So there's like pretty much like an office clerk walking out with okay. glasses. He has a like Star Wars t-shirt. It's okay. Is he making a move on her? Uh, he's, he's walking by, no. Do you think you could take him? Yeah. He's like a level one. We're gonna take him. Okay, good. So what are you doing? I'm apparently using my kung fu seduction technique. <laughs> okay, good. But roll the dice, okay? Yes. Okay, you jump next to him, you look him in his eye, you scream, SEX! And uh, the guy is uh, flabbergasted, but pays attention. Yes. Yes? So I'm the guy now. Yes? Can I help you? Well, uh, uh, so my character is, is, so, is so seductive that, um, that she uses uh, some linguistic skills to... Roll the dice. Yeah. Young lady, you have a Dutch accent. How can I help you? Would you like to go to the park? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm only... I, I, I can, I, I, he gets a hard on. Um, yeah. and Because uh, if I distract him, then he can like infiltrate or some shit. I mean, I mean he, he gets a hard on, but you actually don't know if he gets a hard on because he notices that he's staring at you while you try to make... Yeah, so there's a strange, like, sexual tension going on here, okay? Uh, he pretty much says, Oh, I, I would love to, but my office break, it's over in five minutes. I just wanted to get, like, a donut, and, uh, but I, can you, like, the copy, copying room? Right, you know, five minutes is, is plenty of time. Okay, so, uh, he takes you into the, to the department. Okay, so, he pretty much says, okay, uh, there is the Xerox machine, yeah? There is the Xerox room. Go in there, go in there. But don't stay longer than five minutes because the, the, the air is pretty bad there, about ozone and stuff. So go in there in five minutes, I'm there in five minutes. And your friend can be there too. No problem. Great. Right. Okay, so you're in the copying room, okay? Right, so we're looking for, for like, suspicious. We're taking documents. I'm copying as much as I can, and you're faxing the rest to my, my, my fax account in my brain. What? Yes. You have a Google account in your brain, not a fax account. Okay, a, a Google, I'm faxing to my Google. I don't know, I don't know how this stuff works in the future. 
Google, we're, we're taking, we're, Google we're Fax doesn't work doc. anymore. No, 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 no. No, no faxing? No fax. Scanning? I totally forgot about that. Okay, <laughs> speed reading, okay, speed reading. Okay, so you actually pretty much like read the trash or what? She's, I'm just shoving documents her way. Anything she thinks is, okay, is okay, interesting, okay. I'm actually okay. copying and shoving in my jacket. Okay. Roll the dice. Oh, okay. So, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of material, okay? Most of it is really, really boring. Um, but there's an interesting uh, hint in one of the, uh, one of the like, half-shredded uh, pieces of paper there uh, about uh, like a strange incident um, concerning uh, the subway system. So it seems that there's a special problem with dragons in the subway system of Cologne. And there are some interesting, you know, like money flows uh, concerning like dragons, subway system, but that's pretty much all you, you find out. The guy's there and he's uh, half naked and he has like just his underpants on. I'm back. I, I don't, you, have you, do you have experience? Yes, you're a bodyguard. That would be, oh, we should have been documenting something, shouldn't we? Mm. Uh, wait, wait, wait do, do you have your camera on you? It seems that he's actually more after your friend than after <laughs> you, okay? Hey, what's your name? I'm Jesus McKinsey. Um, Jesus, um, yes, ah, yes, yes. Okay. And, and, and we're wondering, we're wondering, we're actually reporters, we're wondering about the... Uh, Whoa. the lobster, well, yes, yes. And reporters? Yes, we have you on film, we have you naked, and you own, we own you now. This is blackmail. You're filming him naked? Yes. Oh! Yeah, in your office. Very inappropriate in the city of, even in the city of Cologne. In the middle 21st century. Um, button on the wall. Oh! Wee 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 okay. Helicopters on the on the roof of, of these buildings, right? Okay, obviously he like he hit the emergency button, and there's some strange things going on now. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait here and look, and I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna wait right here. She's hiding the camera. I'm waiting for the cops to show up. <laughs> what what what? what? He wants to wait, what do you want? Actually, uh, it's no problem in a role game to split, so you can stay in the closet, and you can do whatever you like, so it's no problem. What do you well, I, I'm, I'm curious about, what, about what's gonna happen, because we have the documentation for the, for the dragon, so something interesting should happen. Okay, so you take the piece of paper and put it in your... Yeah, the dragon paper. Okay, good, good, okay. The dragon subway paper, you mean. Okay, so you stay. Good. The guy's uh, pretty much off. And uh, a little bit later, like, the security guards show up. Uh, show, uh, show, show up, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm not tough enough to play a security guard here, but I'll try. What are you doing in the department? I've heard you tried to sexually arouse one of our office employees. What's going on here? Fight the country! I'm here from the internal audit department. And there, this is, I do not know, what, what are you doing? You have are naked you American? Here. Well, yes, all internal auditors are American, actually. I'm, I'm sorry about the accent. Uh, Quebec, yeah, Quebec, yeah, Quebec, yeah, yeah, yeah but, but you know, the, but we, we have the American accents because we never learned French because we were too busy internally auditing everything in here. And there, there are a lot of problems here that I've identified and uh, I don't know why you're, why one of your staff tried to, to come on to, to me. I mean, I can understand with her, but why, but. Uh, what? Roll the dice. You're pretty much with your nose on the floor and he's on you. And he has like the police grip, you know. What are you doing? Would it be better to use violence or some other technique? Violence! <laughs> We're gonna have to throw this one out to the audience. How many people wanted to get scene. violent? They're in the Xerox, uh, like, chamber. Like, he's on the floor. The security guard is on top of him, and but she's a ten. Should I use violence? Or <laughs> how many people say? How many people say that she should get violent with him and we should try to escape? How many people think that I should get a reroll for that social engineering thing? 
I think we're gonna have to go with violence. Wait, okay, one guard. It's one guard. Oh yeah, I can take a pass. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, you actually have to roll with two dice. Two dice. Uh, where's the second one? It's over there. There it is. Rolled with two dice. Hmm? I totally deserved a reroll for that. Oh, six. Okay, and not bad. And a percent dice, please. That's not good. Yeah, you. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, you pretty much break his nose. Uh, and he's urge, and there's blood flowing out of his nose, and blah, blah blah blah, and he's tumbling back. And okay, so he's free. Uh, he's free. So can I get him in a? I, I, maybe I get him in a lock, and then. Uh, I <laughs> Let's say it works. You okay. have the guy in his bleed and you have him in a lock. Okay. 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 What are you doing? Is there a helicopter on the roof of the building? <laughs> no. Dude, this is the office that slays dragons. They don't have a helicopter? Like what? One department is in charge for, for, for dragons, okay? They have a department for big cockroaches too, but uh, it's... And they don't uh, have helicopters? No, at, at least not here. I mean, maybe somewhere in some garage. I don't know. Um, shoot. Did, did, you know, did, did you read anything about helicopters in the office? I, I think that they keep that on Google, actually. Where's the closest Bleeding helicopter? Leading guy, lock, googling. Perfect. Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we Google? What? I'm, I'm googling the location of helicopters. There, there are a couple of rental services. There's the military. Um, we're, we're walking very calmly, reassuredly out of the office just like we came in. Okay. Interestingly, it works. You're on the street. I, I guess we're going to have to head straight for the subway then to investigate okay. based on the, what, okay. we've, what we've dis discovered. I wonder if you can find a subway. Okay. No, actually, you find it. Yeah, oh! <laughs> yeah, the subway's just does, around the corner. Does Google Transit work? Yeah, the problem is it's still the Google Maps from 2012, so it's like hard, but, uh, but there's a subway, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. okay. What are you doing? So, so we're at the subway. You go into the subway. Do, do they, do you, do you like, still not have to buy a ticket? Uh, do you want to buy a ticket? Well, well, I don't know. Are they going to check? Um, you can Google. I mean, is, is this Berlin or is this Cologne? That's worse than Berlin. So it's worse than Berlin in the real present? I'm trying to save money here. I only have Confederate dollars. I don't know if I'm going to get a 40... Expense account? Do we have an expense account? It's your expense uh, it, Yeah, like the, the really? meal that's your expense account. Can we buy a helicopter with it? You can what? Can we buy a helicopter with it? Uh, no. I mean, you can try, but you, can we you rent might a helicopter with it? What? Can we rent a helicopter with it? No. But you're in a subway now, so what, what's, okay. what's the thing with helicopters? I just want a helicopter, dude. Okay. <laughs> she can fly one. It'd be, it'd be a shame to waste that. Okay. okay. So, we're, so we're in the subway. Oh, all right. Okay. We're looking for signs of dragons. Anything that compares to the documents that we found in the office in the subway. So uh, uh, you were on the turnstile of the subway. There are a couple of, uh, of people there uh, waiting for uh, the next uh, subway to arrive. And the only thing that really works in Cologne is like there are five minutes for the next subway, I think. Four minutes for the next subway, you know. Do, do those guys know anything about the, about the dragons? You want to talk? They're locals? Uh, uh, yeah. Do you want to talk to them? Can we interview them? Can, can we approach them and say, hi, uh, you know, I'm... Of course. I'm, I'm Jesus McKinsey. Um, I'm with Network News. We'd like to interview you about strange okay. things going there on. There are a couple of interesting uh, uh, people there. Um, the first one is Kalle Oppenheimer, okay? Kalle Oppenheimer is obviously a German. And there is Oh Yon Soon. He looks Korean. There is Buford Swatsky, and you smell that he could be like a confederate. There is Django Dutnik, and he looks strange. And that's pretty much it. Who do we want to talk to? The Asian guy, I think. Asians are smart, so. The, the, the Asian guy, the, the Asian, Asian native of Cologne. Okay, the Asian guy. Are we rolling? How do I look? Do, do, do I need some more foundation? Am I, am, am I good? Okay. 
He's okay, waiting okay, there. Okay, he has like a okay. plastic bag with stuff, he, with some groceries. I don't know. Um, um, hello, sir. Can I can I interview you for um, the, the network news? Um, yeah, by the way, here. you have to know, uh, there is a big Korea town in Köln. It's like the eastern part of Cologne is pretty much now Korea town. And that's pretty much, I guess, where he wants to go with the subway. Okay. Is that still the wrong side of the Rhine? Still. Okay, it's still the wrong side. Okay, right. Just check. All right. Um, excuse me, sir. Um, hi, I'm uh, Jesus McKinsey from Network News, and uh, we've heard that there's some strange things going on in the subway, and we were wondering if you had a moment just for a quick interview. Uh, what did he say? Uh, uh, she only can speed read in six languages. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Where's Kalle? What? Kalle is a German, and maybe he speaks English. K K yeah, can we bring the German up here? The, 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 the German, the, the, okay. That might speak English. The German, where's the German? The German. Kalle Oppenheimer, where's the German? Yes, the German. <laughs> Stay, stay, stay right here. Stay right here. Okay. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Jesus McKenzie from Network News, and we've heard that there's some uh, strange things going on in the Cologne subway. I is there any chance you speak the language? That, that, that yeah, there's dragons down here. <laughs> and that's oh, pretty much common language, uh, common knowledge. So it's. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about the dragons that are down here? They're dragons. They have fangs. They flap around. They're like worms. Dragons. You're American? Yes. Jesus yeah. McKenzie from Network News. C c tell me a little bit more about the dragons. Can you, can you translate for him? Can you, uh, can you tell me what his uh, opinion of the dragons are? English. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're dragons. They're dragons here. So what is the city of Cologne doing about the dragons? Inquiring minds want to know. What, by the what way, about by these the way, connections? By the way, uh, there is still uh, on the turnstile. There is still uh, Buford Swatsky and Django Dudnik. So if they want to in any way like participate in the discussion, then they can or they cannot. So it's up to you if you want to step in. Okay? It's up to you, sir. Tell me, what do you know about these connections? What do I know about the connections? Corporate connections? In these times, everything is like a mixture between state connection, corporate connection. Just depends on the mixture, right? So you can. Ah, hard to tell. Hard to tell. I think there's money in these dragons. What kind of money in these dragons? I don't think you want to know about that. <laughs> We can take this off camera, but no, I, I really want to get to the bottom of the, the dragon money. Are you, are you sure you want to get to the bottom of it? I, I really do want to get to the bottom of it. All right, DM, I summon dark forces. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you want to give them like your business card or stuff? No, I just, uh, okay, I'll show you. And I, then I summon dark forces. So he summons dark forces. Are you getting this? Um, Should we roll? Yeah, sh 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 yeah, I, yeah. So, I think we have to roll to find out what kind of dark forces we're summoning. See, see, when I played this as so a kid, we didn't have music. You, you want to, to summon dark forces? Yes. Okay, try. Okay. With uh, two dice, please. Two dice. Uh, by the way, you have, we have to add that he is especially interested in occult sciences and economics. That's his main thing. Uh, so you roll as I actually what so you just like whatever dark force you can find. Well, that's up to you. I mean, I just I, mean, roll, I just summon the dark forces. You let me okay, know. Okay, you summon dark forces. Okay, you roll a seven, uh, and which uh, is a mystical number. Okay, a pretty mediocre black cloud appears and disappears. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did Are you, you sure that? you want to know about the dragons? <laughs> what was that black cloud all about? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Do we have ways of making him talk? Huh? Wait, do, I have a way of making him talk. But do you want, I mean, do you want to make him want to force the talk? Or should we talk to him right now? He's an American. Okay, by the way, uh, uh, an interesting person just uh, um, appeared. And it's uh, Django Dutnik, uh, and he like he probably saw like the smoke appearing and stuff like that. So he's not now in the. His, uh, uh, Jesus McKenzie, Network News. Did you see that black cloud? Do you know anything about it? Well, I I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this here, uh, okay. because um, I mean you could join me, uh, you you could join me in the toilet. Uh, <laughs> Because I have some stuff with me, and maybe it sometimes happens. Okay. Uh, what now I, happens? I produce these clouds. External force, external force. The subway arrives. Okay. Do we want to get on a subway? It's my subway. Not? I have to take it. Okay. Um, you take the subway. Okay. You are in the subway. Are you in the subway too? Okay. And of course, that's Buford Swatsky from the Confederate States of America. So, you're now pretty much in the subway, uh, and the subway is like driving through the darkness of Cologne's um, interesting... Like, who, are who, who, who are you? Wait, we didn't get on the subway. We wanted, we wanted to go into the toilet with the, uh, the creepy American. I thought you go on the subway. No, I never said... Did I say that I wanted to get on the subway? No. He, I'm, he a, I'm on the subway. You're on the I'm, subway. I'm on okay, the, who's I, the I, subway? I'm, I'm, I'm still on the platform trying to go in the toilet with that guy. Because <laughs> he said he had information. One of my powers is the power of marketing. So, I actually... Okay, okay. Who actually, is on the subway and who is not on the subway? I actually use my power of marketing he to is on the subway. Who the is subway. on the subway? You're on the subway. You're on the subway. I use my powers of marketing. For what? To, to bring them all on the subway. Anyone who doesn't want to go on the subway. Okay, try it. Try it. And in fact, he really has the, uh, the, uh, uh, like the, the mysterious powers of, of uh, marketing. Yes, he has. Yeah, okay. They, they all have like the strange feeling they should probably go on the subway, yes. Do you? I, I, I feel like I'm getting on the subway yeah, the car. Yeah, interesting we're, idea. We're, we're going, There's a yeah. toilet in the subway. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting on the subway car. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. You're in the subway. You're going straight to the toilet with the, the strange, strange Eastern European guy? Well, actually, I'm, I'm going in the toilet. We, I, I've prearranged a signal so that if, if you hear it, you know, the signal on the door, that means that you have to come into the toilet and kick the guy's ass, right? So I'm not videotaping him. No, you're not videotaping him. I'm going to find out what he knows about the crazy dragon stuff in the toilet while I'm leaving you out in the subway car to um, figure out what you can get from you know, the other guys here. And, you know, use your seduction powers or whatever okay. it is. So both of you now go to the toilet. So you're pretty much in the toilet now. And the rest of you, what are you doing? Well, I want to ask that guy. I mean. So, uh, hey, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> how's so, it? Uh, how's it? What's? Hi. Um. Yeah. I heard that there's. I've been hearing that there's some dragons around. Do you know anything about that? About what? About some big. What's that? What's What's that thing in your hand there? It's a gun. No, that. Not that. The other thing. That's also a gun. It's just a, it's a disguised gun. It's not camera. I thought I, I know I know guns, honey. I know guns. You, know you can't guys. fool me. I'm not. They don't call me Buford. Where do you come from? Buddy? What's my last name again? Swatsky. <laughs> they, they don't call me Buford J. Swatsky. I don't remember my name either. Killer Buford J. Swatsky for nothing. <laughs> I know way, my guns. Just a nice into uh, like a backstory of Buford Swatsky. He's pretty much stuck in what used to be Germany because the United States of America fell apart and he was part of the U.S. Army in Germany. So I, I joined the Army to go meet 
interesting people. And then there were guns involved. And then interesting people and guns. I know there was a connection there somewhere. So, and in the meantime, he's hitting on, on Dutch girls in subways. Okay, good. Okay. Where I come from, there's not much difference between a camera and a gun. So oh, well, I where, I, where I come from, you don't, you don't point either at a man unless you're planning on using them. And I don't like having either one used on me, dear. No, not the camera? No. Can, can I use my mind to send her an email? You were in the to toilet say... with the strange guy. What? No. what why, why, why'd that, why'd that, why'd that, that, that guy go in the, the toilet with the, the one with the mirror shades? Oh, yeah. Is he one of those kind of, is he, is he one of those, he yeah. worked for the government? Yes, definitely. Oh. As do I. What? Okay, let's switch into the toilet, okay? Jesus and Django are in the toilet, okay. What are you talking? Hey there. Man. Yeah, I can give you everything. I can give you the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I can. That's actually against the rules, but it's okay. Okay. I can show you the dragon. I can show you any kind of dragon, like yellow, blue. I, 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 okay. Helicopter. Definitely want to see the helicopter, but um, yeah. before we get to the helicopter. What, what's Lord, up? What's the sure. connection between the dragons and the corruption? Like, I'm here to find the corruption in the city government. I, I really don't care about the dragons. I just want to know about the corruption. What, what can you tell me about the corruption in the government of the city of Cologne in the department of, like, dragon... What was the name of the department again? Like, dragon... Pest control. Pest control. Dragon pest control. Dragon... In the department of dragon pest control. What, what can you give me on them, man? Come on. I, need, I want everything. Well, I'm not supposed to tell you these things, and I don't want to lie to you. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that uh, they wanted always to, to buy stuff from me uh, because, you know, the, 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 the stuff that roll they... Roll the dice, roll the dice, you roll the dice. He's a crazy businessman, you feel that. And actually I think he wants to sell you drugs. Okay? Okay? No shit. Okay? That's what your brain tells you. What do you really know about all this stuff? Because I think you're trying to pull one over on me, man. No Just way. be straight with me, man. What, 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 what's the score here, man? Do, do you know anything about what's going on for real in the government, or are you just trying to score? Well, I know something. I don't have any money. You don't have any money? I don't have any money. I just got Confederate dollars, that's it. So what, where the fuck are we in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> because if I thought you, you wanted to do money? the right thing and tell me about the corruption. I, I need to know about the corruption. Don't you, want well, to do the, don't you want to do the right thing? Don't you want your government to work for you? Don't you want to be a hero, be on TV, be a celebrity and tell everybody about the, the, the horrible, nasty corruption in the government that I still don't know? <laughs> Dice. You're knocked out. Roll the dice. Bleeding nose, but it's fine. Roll the dice. You stand like a pro. Roll the dice. Your face slapped into his face, so you're both knocked out, okay? And Buford. Not that. One is the best solution. You're dancing. You're dancing. You're dancing through a train crash, okay? There's some strange sounds going on out there. One. And you actually can smell fire. You're taping? Yeah. Okay. There's a little bit of blood on your uh, on your camera, so but that's that's good, like authentic no big thing, deal. huh? 
Huh? No big deal, just a little blood. Okay, a little blood, it's fine. Okay. So you were both knocked out in the toilet. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, rest of you, what are you doing? So the train pretty much like crashed. It's now, it's... <laughs> but it's damp. And you smell fire. I love the smell of burning dragon snot in the morning. Yes? We should look outside and see how bad look it is. Look outside. It's pretty dark. Uh, inside of the train, you know, the, the electricity is a little flickery. <laughs> so it's like light and dark, light and dark, light and dark. It smells outside, and you actually can see uh, the shadow of a big thing out there moving. And you all know what it is. You, you got that other thing from your pocket that you were going to point? I think this would be a good time to take it out. Got it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I also have some climbing gear if we need it. <laughs> yeah, in fact, you have a gun, yes. You have a gun. You only have, you don't have a gun. I have another device. The big question now is, okay, we're in the train. Yes. There are windows. Yes. There's a door. Yes. Uh, two doors. Yeah, on both sides. Okay, yeah. and how many cars are in this train? Are we at the front, at the back, in the middle? Of, we must be at the front of the train if we see a dragon at the other end yes, of the are, tunnel, the which means at the very only, front. There are only two trains. Only two cars. And you're the only passengers. And in, in, the, in the second train, there is no one. You're the only passengers. So I guess the big question would be, do we go toward the thing that just went roar? Or do we go away from the thing that went roar? I don't have a lot of experience with dragons. I didn't say it was a dragon. I said it was a thing that went rawr. Well, we know what it is, don't we? That's what you said. Assume nothing. I mean, assume like uh, talking about dragons in the subway system, big thing comes, fire, rawr. So how big is this dragon. space that we're in though? Probably. Like, there's, a train, there's, there's a tracks, there's conceivably room enough for a big creature. Is it like an underground? Cavern or bridge? Or this what? is the moment I've been waiting for. I head for the <laughs> dragon. You do what? I head for the dragon. You head for the dragon? Oh wow. The, the, the student of occult economics from Berlin heads for the dragon. It's okay. So you pretty much climb out of the car. Or. Yes. He climbs out of the car. And actually, you don't have to roll a dice for that. You get out of the car, it's pretty much possible. And you're out there in the semi dark tunnel and you see shadows moving and you smell even more of this like sulfurish, fireish thing. I, I'm, I'm gonna follow the, yeah. the, the crazy guy. Okay. Except I'm going to pull out my extra special device of multi-use, my, my sonic screwdriver. Oh, he has a super device, a sonic screwdriver. Okay, yes. If they've Whatever invented anything it doesn't do, I'll be surprised. You have, you have a sonic screwdriver in your It's a multi, it, well, yeah, with a, an LED light at the end too, so you know. Okay, any comments on that? We do want to see what's going on, don't we? I mean, it's pretty much a screwdriver, but... I think the LEDs are really... Do you know what a idea. sonic screwdriver is? I don't know a sonic screwdriver, no. <laughs> Dude, Doctor Who. I'm only God. A sonic screw know screwdriver Who. is like, okay, you know MacGyver, right? Yes. A sonic screwdriver is to, uh, would be the equivalent of duct tape and a paper clip from MacGyver. Okay. There is nothing it cannot fix. Excellent. Un it, when it works. That's a fucking superpower. Okay, good. Okay. You let it go. I let it go. I'm sorry. I'm too stupid. That's like, like pop culture references kill gods, you know. It's, uh, hey, okay. You're the, okay. hey, you're the Meantime, uber geek here, baby. You, uh, you awake. You're awake now, and you pretty much too, okay? You, like, there's a space in here. Okay, I just tell them that they're awake. So, you're out there, you're out there, okay? No, no, there's only the light from inside the train that's flickering. Okay. I'm out there too. Inside. If, if you need light for your thing, no. No, 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 it, has, it, it does that. That's one of the lights. So, it's, it's you know. So, your thing is, is a light. It's like, it's like a super, it's a torch. Amongst other things. So it's okay. Then you have, then you can see with it. Okay. Yeah, you have like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, you have, you have. Okay. Good. Okay. You go in this direction, I guess. I, I want to know what we see then. You see still like shadowy kind of things. It's uh, too far away. Are the tracks still intact? Uh, as far as you can see, yes. 
And are there other tracks on the ground? Only one track. Which, are we talking the rail track? Rail track, but no foot tracks. No foot tracks. Oh fuck! My 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 reserves of genetically engineered uh, eucalyptus, cocaine, cocaine leaves are all over the place. Fuck it, can I, man! I cannot believe it. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm, the stuff I'm is leaving. all the stuff is all over the place. It means that some of the stuff actually got into your wound. Okay, that means you have like the genetically modified eucalyptus, cocaine, whatever it is, in your wound, yeah? And it starts to work, roll the dice. You feel great, okay? You feel great, you How? can walk, but it's all a little bit tipsy and you feel, let's say, I mean, you're a, you're a professional, what, what should he feel when he gets the stuff into his bloodstream? Man. I partly, like 50%, uh, he has, he's inside the helicopter. <laughs> oh, that's why he's so tipsy. You have this, like, yeah, you're the helicopter man. Yeah. No. Like, do I feel like I'm actually flying the helicopter or do I just feel like I could own a helicopter? You are actually bumping into the yeah. remains, the ruins uh, of the city, like going from one. And is that true? Okay, yes, it's true. Damn. So you're pretty much like a spiritual form of a helicopter bumping through the city. Am I aware of my okay. Am I aware of my surroundings? Do I know where my camera person is? Do I know that there's a dragon out on the tracks? Do I know so enough to like get on? There's no you? way for you to discuss that. The people around you just see that you have like pretty starey eyes and you look, you look happy. Okay, that's what. Oh. Thank you, John. <laughs> you look happy. There's nothing else you can do. You look happy, and you are happy in this. I, 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 I can't find my lovely assistant. No, just... no, you don't care about her. You have your helicopter, finally. Okay. <laughs> okay. Irony. So, what are you doing? What are you doing with him or any. What is. Mm, I go and start to, because I'm the only local, and I may be of some help to them, right? Okay. So... He's out there, and you? I'm documenting the possible journalistic ramifications of this dragon. Okay, you're even filming him? Yeah, she's out on track. Oh, you're out, okay. Sorry. So, <laughs> are, are you going with them, or what are you doing with your I'm client? I'm very desperate, you know, that I've, I've lost the stash that I had okay. with me. Uh, but uh, I, I, I try to, to, to check the, the, the pockets, you know, like to see if oh, some of the oh, stuff oh, oh, is... Okay, is so I have to check what he has, like a special stuff in his pocket. Uh, what do you have actually? Oh, you only have abilities, you have... He has like this like stupid like money cloud banking card worth like 800 converted dollars uh, and a, a, a pretty awkward tie. And uh, a, a picture of his mother. Of his mother? Yes. Picture of his mother, the tie, like this bank card. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Okay. I take what I can. I take his mother's uh, photo. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, he doesn't have to. You're high fucking Christ. Come on. Jesus, you are in a better world now, okay? So, okay, so, tie is gone. And we have two ties, that's awesome. Okay, so, so you're still inside, uh, like, uh, going through his, like, trousers, and he has a pretty awful under, like, his underpants are kind of, nah, whatever. Uh, okay, the rest of you is out there in the dark, and I guess in front, you are with your torch, kind of, Doctor Who thingy, okay? Are you? Well, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, you know, it, it's a big, it, it's a big thing, that'd be good eating, potentially speaking, here. Okay. So, so you walk I, I would like to suggest to the rest that, that we move on in the direction of said critter. 
that it's we dinner. Can kill it and eat it? Okay. Well, you, you, you never know. Do you agree that you, show, that you should go to the crater? To the crater, to the side. Ah, uh, yeah, we had toast the crater, but I have a way of turning dragons' dreams into uh, money, so we will not be eating this dragon, but we'd be uh, doing things with it. I won't discuss further. You're gonna do what with what? You, you, okay, some, yeah, some of your dark forces, yes. Okay. Dude, not. Whoa! Tell you what, the fucking dragon comes back! Okay. Okay. The bear. You actually can't see it. Fire? Wow. I turn around and run away. Okay, he's going away. What are you doing? Uh, I use my belt of Tesla to try and rip off the dragon's me uh, metal um, scales. Me metal scales? Yeah, my belt of Tesla. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, tell the audience, please, what's your belt of Tesla? Because that's a special, a, a special tool, the belt of Tesla, whatever it is. What is it? Uh, it's, it's an electromagnetic device, high voltages. I think you wouldn't understand. <laughs> it isn't, isn't that what they use to levitate frogs? So you're going to levitate the dragon. He has, a, he has a device to levitate frogs? I don't know. I heard that's what they, I, I heard that's what they do with it, yes. Dragons, but giant frogs. It's, that, it's always a good idea. If you play role-playing stuff, yeah, you have devices, you don't even know what they're doing. That's great, okay? Okay, so you try it. Yeah, I fire off my belt of Tesla. It, it's a belt. Yeah, it's it? a belt with a so, huge buckle shaped like Texas with a gym in the middle. You, so so you put the belt out. on? No, I'm wearing, yeah, like I'm wearing rubber robes. You didn't mention I was dressed. I'm wearing completely rubber robes head to toe. So I flap my... Rubber okay. robes open. Rubber robes, <laughs> Tesla belt. I have belt. a gigantic Tesla belt buckle. Okay. Kinda. Okay. So here's a friend of you because you're a hippie. Okay, you push the button of the Tesla belt, roll the dice. Now actually roll two dice and a percent, percent dice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hide. You ran away. You ran away. That's what it did. You're still, you're still inside. You're high. You're pretty much the last who went out of the train, so you're... Right, and when I, when I saw him, the dragon turn around, I, I used my climbing gear and I just repel quickly upwards. Okay. Out of danger. Who's where? Okay, that's... Uh, so that's the hippie. Dragon, hippie. Uh, that's pretty much you now because you're going back. Here is uh, a Korean guy and there is... Uh, there's Guna, okay? And there's the train. Oh, five meters, six meters. Okay, good. Okay, good, 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 good. You, you push the button and now roll the dice. Oh, yes, send the percent dice. 70, that's, that's not good. That's actually, actually, it's good, yeah. It's good for you yeah. because you're the center of this electromagnetic like superstore that you just cost. You and you are like, you get an electric shock, both of you. You drop, blonk, yes, that's right. Your camera has like a little bit of a problem now. It's like, <laughs> so there's like an EMP or something going on here, okay? Uh, and you feel pretty good. You're the center of light. <sighs> what happens to the dragon? That's what I'm doing, like not going, like... <laughs> What's happening to the dragon? The dragon, actually, you can hear, even from the distance, you can hear a... <coughs> but, uh, actually, it sounds as if the dragon is just like a little bit more angry than before. <coughs> so you actually heard the dragon, that's for sure. But you didn't actually... <coughs> You're knocked, out. you're knocked out, you're in charge of your, the camera, you're concerned about your camera, that's... Uh, no, no. <laughs> Do you want a new roof? 
Climbing gear. Climbing gear. Okay, yeah. you're on the roof. You're danger. on the roof. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So you're on the roof. You can see that he is knocked out. He is knocked out, and he is still high from the electricity. And inside, you can hear him screaming, "Helicopters! Helicopters!" Okay, that's happening. And you can hear uh, the dragon. So it's a pretty dynamic situation. Yeah. Ah, yeah. What is it? What are you doing? You're still inside. So. Well. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking, you know, in the distance to see... Actually, you tickled him, and that's why he's screaming, Helicopters! Yeah. Helicopters! Okay? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but uh, I'm sort of, you know, want to also get into the action with the dragon, uh, because uh, he, he he sort of started it, and I, I, I would like to, to try and, and, and do something about it, finish it, maybe. But I don't know if I have the power to do it. I just have this uh, waistband. Uh, which is made out of a uh, de dead orthodox priest's robe. Yes, yes. It's one of his major gadgets. It's a wristband made out of dead orthodox priests. <laughs> and you can immediately turn someone into a believer by touching him or her, okay? That's his gadget. Okay, so you want to turn like the, like the helicopter guy into a believer or what? He's already a believer. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, uh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but the, the dragon, maybe I can, I can touch the dragon. I mean, oh. he can touch me. Uh, he will start praying. And then he'll be immobilized by guilt. Yeah, good. It's, it's a German dragon. It's fine, yeah. So, no, no, I'm not gonna ask if it's Bavarian. Okay, no, it's not Bavarian. It's, uh, what, it's, uh, no, it's not Viennese, no, 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 no. Okay, so you actually go outside. Yeah, I, I go outside, I approach the dragon, and he sort of slaps me with uh, his no, tail. No, 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 Okay, so you go outside, okay? Uh, you are on top of the train, you are knocked out, and he is there like in this, like, just a little bit of cloud of electricity. He's like, his hair is like, you know, like, he has like the flying hair kind of thing. Of, like, takes weeks to get the hair down, yeah, it's, uh, if, if he does it, yeah. There okay. would be a good collaboration between my character and Stefan's, like... So you can actually scream uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, Mr. to Django, Django? Yeah, Django. Hello. Okay, so? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the ceiling and I have my climbing gear and... You ceiling, you're on the, on the train, yes, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And, but we can, we can climb, we can be on the top uh, and swing, well, are we inside like a, some sort of tube or... It, it's, yeah, it's a normal like because we can we can get tumble. attached to the top and then we can you can actually it. touch if you're standing on top of the train you can actually touch the tunnel uh, like it's okay so not a not a lot of room for acrobatics then but but we could i could we could i could help you swing to the dragon with my with my climbing gear because i have a rappel on the thing on the rope right maybe then you could touch the dragon and then and then he would he would get on his knees yes if, if you could help me do that, I will definitely guilt so, his guilt I mean, I, I'm back. God and that's, that's okay for me, but like how she knows that you have like dead orthodox priests on your wristband and you want to touch the dragon, nobody really knows. But let's say that she knows and she wants to help you, okay? That's, that's, that's fine for me, okay? Good. Uh, in, the in the meantime, you get shaky and you get shaky, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Keep, keep going, keep going. Yes, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, it's good. Hey, come on, it's supposed to be dynamic. Go, shake it. Shake it, 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 shake it. They're shaky, they're shaky. He's high, he's high. You are on top of the train. The dragon is coming, okay? The dragon is coming. Yeah. Can I ask a question? I forgot what my second special thing was. Did I have the plus four boots of kick ass? I have to check that. I don't know. I have to check what your special thing uh, uh, Buford Swatsky. No, you no, you can really like you're this like like uh, dr car driving, you know, like the fancy cars. No cars in the subway. My second object. It's can drive like No. Uh, I can read your Okay. In the meantime, I can check out what your special abilities are. Come on. Uh, 
helicopter pilot and speed reading and night vision goggles and climbing gear. You have night vision goggles. That's that would have been useful. Candy. Yes. You forgot it. Oh, it. my. Can I pretend that I didn't cross out the plus four boots of kick No. <laughs> Shake it. Shake it. I used the power of marketing to make them think everything is okay. What? I used the power of marketing on them both to make them think everything is okay. On, on, on the shakers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and use the power of mar I'm gonna try and use the power of marketing. <sighs> they shake even like more wildly. It's, it's uh, like it uh, doesn't help. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I can't stay high forever through this, can I? A little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. really good stuff. Okay, so what happens now is the following. The dragon like pretty much like expels a, a giant tongue of uh, fire. <laughs> and it actually it's good for you that you're on the floor and you're on the floor because the fire is right going over you. But the fire is hitting the hippie, yes. Okay. So, I cannot, I, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry about your hair, but your hair is completely gone, okay? It's burned off, your hair is gone, you're bold, okay? Uh, you actually look similar to, to um, Jesus without hair, but your hair is gone. Uh, please uh, roll the dice, the, the percent dice, please. 50%. It hurts. It really hurts. It hurts badly. Uh, do you want to do anything against it with your like special magical powers? Um, am I wounded? You are, but uh, you can try not to be dead. <laughs> um, well, I use my vial of uh, undifferentiated tissue to heal myself. Wow. Please tell the audience what it is. It's like another My vial of undifferentiated tissue from the William Burroughs story about the man who was asked to talk, <laughs> which I then can use to create any tissue. Okay, excellent. First, roll, uh, roll the 50. So you, half of your body is pretty much burnt, okay? Roll one dice, please. Okay, you are still standing. You can still think and talk and do stuff, so you're not knocked out, okay? So, mm, two dices, please. You actually can cure, uh, so like, you have some fucking big blisters, yeah. But you're alive and well, okay, yeah, okay. Good. Oh, the fire, you're on top of the thing. <laughs> oh, no, the back of the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not for you. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. You want to touch the dragon. Okay, the dragon, dragon is pretty much approaching. So the first part of the dragon is like this flame tongue and the rest is coming after him. So what, 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 what do we do? Um, who is actually, you, you, really climbed on the, you climbed on the train. It means you're like uh, on the train and behind you is she, okay? That means you might get fire. Try, roll the dice please. Okay. It hurts but it's not that bad. Okay. And you, one dice. Pretty much the same. He has a five, you have a four. It's okay. So both of you have like, you know, it's oh, it's scratchy and stuff. It's like a major sunburn, but it's fine. Okay. Okay? Good. So actually, in fact, now it's your turn. You can try to grab the dragon. Okay. That that's a complicated thing. Okay. Anything you wanna like? So uh, the idea is that guilt is not enough. Um, I would like... Guilt is not enough. That's a super yeah. term. Can, can uh, someone Twitter that, please? <laughs> Guilt is not enough. <laughs> Hashtag Sigint. <laughs> <laughs> Guilt is not enough. I, I want some, you know, I want the, the, the dragon to, to 
ash himself. You know, repent, wow. exactly. Oh, what the exactly, fuck? to pay some penance for the destruction that he did, I mean, and, and, and burning all these guys. And, and Self-flagellation, that, that is the only response. Let's see if the dragon is into Christian teleology and stuff like that. Let's find out. Okay, so you pretty much, okay, where's, there's one dice missing. We have another dice. Okay, that's a complicated mission, okay? First of all, uh, you have, like, 1-1 one, one is low, 6-6 six, six is high. So the higher you get, the higher is the chance that you actually can grab the dragon, okay? So roll with two dice. So 2-6 would be perfect. Oh. oh, you jump, yeah, actually you jump on the dragon, but you actually miss the dragon. That's pretty bad because it's really big. You jump into the darkness, okay? Sorry, what are you doing? Well, I'm swinging through the air and then I, I guess I go, what? So Back. the dragon actually is now like on, pretty much on the train. And you're behind, the, you're behind the dragon, you're behind the dragon, and you are awaking now, okay? Yeah? Okay? And you're like somewhere... Wait a minute, I have dark, to... Okay? Uh, wait, I want to see here again. So, this is the dragon now. Here's the dragon. This is the train. This She's is the train. on top of the train. Yes, and there's the dragon. And you were here, and you were here, and uh, the remaining Where's guys the hippie? Were there. Where's the hippie? The hippie is in the train. No, oh, he's he, not. We were all no, on no, no, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. So, uh, am I still high? What? Am I still high? And you enjoy it. <laughs> I want to go find the Romanian. It's my turn. So, you want to find the Romanian, you look into a big, big fucking eye, and it's the eye of the dragon. Can um, you actually play the eye of the tiger? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm heading, I'm going to head back to the dragon, okay. but as I walk by the hippie, yeah. he's full of blisters, right? The Big blisters. Is, the hippie is pretty much naked. Big blisters. All the stuff is burnt. Are we talking about is massive pus-filled blisters? What? Massive pus-filled blisters? Many blisters and naked, and no hair. Big blisters. Big blisters. All right, as I walk by, I'm going to pop a few of those damn blisters. he still has his uh, Tesla thing. I'm not done. Is, okay. is it running? Is his Tesla belt still on? No, no, no. no. Good. I'm gonna pop some of those blisters first of all. You pop his blisters! One of them, at least. Oh, fuck. You're unconscious, hippie. No, no, he's not unconscious. No, oh. No, he's not, he's not. Damn. I summon dark forces. <laughs> okay. Blister action. I summon a combination dark forces of marketing. The dark forces of marketing! Damn, hippie. I double my powers. Yeah, double power shot. Blister popper. Oh, oh my, that's bad. How's that say is for, for you now? You tried to touch his blisters! What are you going to do with him? Well, the dark forces of marketing have now been unleashed upon you, and you're allergic to advertising. Is that right? Is that right? What, what? I couldn't understand. The dark forces of marketing have been unleashed upon him, and he's also allergic to advertising. So I think he's now my minion. <laughs> Roll the dice. You are. <laughs> so you have full uh, mental control over this uh, southerner, okay? Uh, Dance, boy! <laughs> okay, think what you'd want to do with him. You're still somewhere in the dark, you just like jump, you're like far away in the dark, okay? You're actually awake. What do you want to do? Uh, with my chopsticks. You use your chopsticks? Oh, that's false. Okay. So you're pretty much behind the dragon. The dragon is staring at um, uh, Gunnar, okay? And, uh, yeah. And you're, what, what, what do I do with the chopstick? Uh, he likes his helicopters, he's playing with it, yeah. Uh, maybe poke the dragon? You poke the dragon with your chopsticks? Maybe. Try it. One dice, one dice is enough, yeah. He doesn't even, like, notice it. Sure. Okay. 
ok? So, now, now it's your turn, ok? So the dragon open, uh, opens up is its mouth. <laughs> Am I still connected to my my climbing gear that's on the ceiling? The cla no, no, you're on. No, no. That's really, so. really. The tension. I can feel the tension. Nothing else matters would be appropriate now. <laughs> yeah. I, I can shoot him in the eye. No, yeah. I think the eye is more vulnerable, yeah? Okay, she actually doesn't know what to do. Uh, what, what, what is he doing for you? <laughs> oh, uh, that's, an, that's a now. nice screwdriver you got there, son. <laughs> uh, have him brandish his magical screwdriver and rush the dragon with it. See what happens. Okay, so you force him to like stab the dragon. Okay, you're not talking with your master, okay? You're just doing it, okay? Okay, what an interesting situation. There's a Korean guy with chopsticks on the dragon, there's a southern guy with like his stupid tool, the sonic screwdriver. Does you're the dragon speak English? That's when you feel it, okay? Does the dragon speak English? You can try to ask him. Hey dragon, do you speak English? I guess it's gun time then. Okay, dragon takes a deep breath. Shooting and then running. Thirty percent. Not bad. What happens is that you hit the lung of the dragon, and it's more like a. <laughs> <laughs> And he spits out lots of slime, and pretty much like, like you're covered in dragon slime now, and you're like, pretty much like floating off the train in the slime. In the slime. Far away? You're in the slime. You cannot do anything, you're in the slime. In the slime. Okay? Good? Okay. It has doesn't, you, and no use, no use. Has my undifferentiated tissue burned away? My vial. Uh, you used it. It was a glass. Like, I used it all. Fifty percent of your body was burnt. So it's okay. You awake. You're awake now. In the I'm, middle of I'm the awake. darkness. Okay, in yeah. this darkness, yeah. I sort of see the dragon. Yes. I mean, uh, I kind of feel that he's uh, hurt. Yeah. A at least that's what you think he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what he's, uh, you know, how much, how, how, how bad it is. Uh, but I, I, I come and, and, and can I... You can walk. You can walk. You have I, to I walk can, too. I can, can walk and, and with my last, because I'm, I'm quite busy. I don't know, like, uh, I've, I've broken some ribs and stuff like that. You have. Uh, and I, I try to pat him on the back. Okay, you go to the dragon. The dragon, that's, uh, that's, that's fine, that's okay. So, he's trying with the stupid uh, Doctor Who tool, you're trying with his chopstick, it doesn't work. What are, what are you doing? So, I have no belt buckle, I have no tissue, I'm just naked? Pardon? Am I just totally naked? You're pretty, mu with you're pretty much total, totally naked Do with blisters and with your, like, Tesla belt. I got my Tesla belt? Yeah. All right. Um, and your testicles are kind of swollen. No hair. Um, I have the southern boy attempt to parlay with the foe. <laughs> you do what? 
have him try and uh, you know make arrangements with the dragon, negotiate. You are sending him to the dragon to talk to the dragon. Negotiate, yeah. Okay, he's going. What are you saying to the dragon? Uh, hey there, critter. Uh, you're sort of, uh, you're sort of causing some major, uh, oh, what's the word? What's the word? So, in the meantime, while he's talking Marcus. to the dragon, the dragon is actually spitting out all his slime on Gunnar. Gunnar is in the slime, falling on Inconveniences. the Inconveniences. And in the meantime, Here. the rocks are off. Could you... You have, you're yourself again. You still see a couple of, of helicopters, but you're, you're back again. Okay, now, okay? Where, where am I in the, in, in the midst of all this? You are in the train, and you see that your colleague in a cocoon of slime is dropping off the train, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's what you see. And you see that there are big feet and stuff, there's a dragon outside, and there's some turtles. What's inside the train? Okay. Inside the train... Do I, have any, do I have a fire extinguisher? Do I have shivs? Are there broken pieces of glass? Is there anything that there's I can train that I can possibly use there as a weapon? There are magazines. Three magazines, yes. okay. And glass. And glass. And the dragon is on its way in. The dragon is on its way in the train, or is the dragon no, still no, no. outside? No, no, the dragon is pretty much like on, like it's, it's leaning on the train. Okay, I'm going into the driver's cab. Is there anything in the driver's cab that I could possibly use in the train? Going forward, essentially underneath the dragon and away from it. Is okay. there anything in the driver's cab I can use? The driver's cabin is pretty much there's a small robot in it. Okay. Okay. Uh, because in the year 2019, there are robots. Okay, you know? can I use a sh can I open a shell? Yes. Can I load Python? What? Can I load Python? <laughs> I'm opening up a shell. Can I load Python? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. It... <laughs> can it work, yes or no? Yes? No? 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 I mean, he's only, he has a Google implant. Okay, it works. It works. I don't even have to roll in the it. system. <laughs> you're in the system. Do you want to talk to the robot? No, I'm not, I'm not, talk, I'm not asking about the robot. Um, what libraries do I have access to? I mean... I mean, there are two libraries. Okay. Go ahead and go backwards. <laughs> um, I'm loading Go Ahead. You're loading Go Ahead? Yes. Can I make the dragon disappear? <laughs> okay. Let's start with the first thing. Go Ahead pretty much means that the train who is not really like on its track anymore, yeah? Okay. The train is trying to accelerate means you're pretty much pushing the train into the dragon that's okay, leaning can I, on it, okay? okay? That actually means you're pushing the dragon into the Korean guy and into the, uh, the southerner, okay? So they're pretty much hanging on the dragon now, okay? And this guy's scared. And when is he gonna, he's, wait, he's, no. He's, he's already, like, he's pretty much. He's still like, on the ground? What? Is he's he not on the ground? Like, he, he, he was on the ground, but he... He's, he's back. He tried. Da, da, da. Don't touch me, touch the dragon. So let's. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that works. Okay. You touch the dragon. So that's an interesting situation for the dragon. Crushed from the front, being touched from the back. Bad touch. Okay, it's actually bad Christian touch. You're pretty. The dragon You're hanging on the fucking. Right. Yeah, but I'm still talking to him. Yes. He's, he's making me parlay with the damn dragon. I'm talking to the dragon. <laughs> dragon, I'm talking to you. That's interesting. Pretty much, you think that the dragon answered. But, in fact, it didn't, but whatever. I'm that dumb. What happens to the dragon when it gets touched by the guilt thing? I'm just wondering what happens to the dragon when it gets touched by the... I actually wanted to tell it right now. What happens with the dragon is, the dragon actually screams in pain, okay? You have something like scream in pain kind of thing? That's actually different, that's different than the normal dragon sound. How can a dragon in pain sound?
Okay, okay. That's complex. Dragon in pain. Dragon. Okay, so dragon is pretty much spastic now. A spastic Roman Catholic dragon, okay? Python import dragon tranquilizer. What? He's not, not Roman Catholic, he's Orthodox. No, no, no. He's Orthodox? You know, what, yeah, orthodox. whatever. No, no, no. Whatever the dragon, dragon tranquilizer. Uh, whatever the dragons has inside, it will manifest itself. Yeah, it's it's Roman Catholic. Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, it's a Roman Catholic dragon in pain, and uh, what actually happens is it's so forceful that it bangs itself against the walls of the tunnel, and the tunnel actually starts crumbling. So there is like it actually pretty much hits a hole in the tunnel. Yes. Can I import shop back? Import shop back robot. Import shotgun? What? You said I was in Python. Import shop back robot. I don't understand. Import shop back robot. Uh, no, no, no. No, I got it. Import dragon tranquilizer? No, 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 no. Okay. Doesn't I'm in, I'm doesn't inside. Matter. Can I get inside the robot that's inside the cab? What? Can I, can I connect to the robot that's inside the cab? You are pretty much like shaken now. There's a, there's a spastic dragon on the car that you're in, okay? You're, you're, you can be happy that you actually can stand in, in the train, okay? So, you are on the back of the dragon, you are on the back of the dragon. So, what happens now is the following, okay? Um, 20 guys. Hmm. 13, lucky number, okay? And you? Eight, that's not as lucky, okay? So, what happens is that the dragon actually banged the big hole into the tunnel, and both of you, you pretty much like sailed through the hole into this other room that the <laughs> opened, okay? So you're in the hole, okay? Uh, and, uh, you are awake and you are pretty much like with your head in the dirt, okay? In the dirt. You can move, but it's like kind of like you don't see anything and stuff, so you're a little bit handicapped. Uh, in the meantime, uh, she's uh, like suffocating in the slime. I just want to... It may be a good idea for someone to try to help her. Mr. Video Journalist, hey, I blogger, tried to report whatever. The shop back, all Stop right? dicking around with the damn robot and playing with Python. Put your Python back in the pants and go get her out of the slime, perhaps. I tried to import the shop back. That didn't work. That's perfect. I'm shaking around in the cab. Stop Python and get her out of the slime. That <laughs> hashtag. Okay, cool. fine. <laughs> okay. You're I'm going to over to try to get her out of the slime. That's a, a lovely idea. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, what happens is the following. I'll stay with both of you now, okay? Can, you can, cl I can actually climb out of the dirt. Can, That's fine. Okay. okay? And you're there. You are in a big, it looks like a, like a storage room for interesting like medical devices and stuff like that and vials and it's like a storage room of the hospital or something like that. It looks strange. We should look around, right? We should examine. You can't. Don't, yes. don't, don't, don't examine me with none of them. Just, oh. No. Whatever, yeah. There's a door, by the way, yeah, there's a door. Yeah. To the north? To the south? To the east? To the west? You don't know. To my right? What? No, okay. It's straight ahead. Behind you, there's the hole to the tunnel. And straight ahead, there's a door and all this like and lots of shelves, equipment. lots of shelves, yeah, yeah. medical equipment, medical equipment, big, different stuff, like tons of stuff. And what 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 do we hear in the background? In the background, there's a dragon. Do I have the feeling that the dra I mean, the dragon is preoccupied. I assume. The dragon doesn't like pay attention to what you're doing. The Good. dragon is in pain. He's really Catholic. Can you so imagine? So, do we try to go help the others, or do we ignore the situation and like? Yeah. Do you want to help them, or do you just want to stay in the... There's a gun back there. 
There's an idiot video blogger. Yeah, you should stay here. Who's not at the top it off, he's from Washington, D.C. I mean, you can leave him, but. Wait. Or do we. What do you think? I would pretty much like to, to examine the room where we're in now. Okay. A real adventurer. Really. Okay. Screw the rest of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there might be treasure. So they examined the room. What are you doing? You're pretty happy that it worked. But actually, you're a little bit scared that the dragon is now like screaming and bumping and blah, 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 blah. What are you doing, naked guy? Uh, I use the power of marketing and try and convince the dragon that it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, my God. No! No! <laughs> no! No! In his mind, the dragon forms a Catholic sect. Okay? Okay. So, it's even worse. The dragon is now a Catholic sect dragon. Um, oh my. Slimy. I, I'm, I'm still peeling her. Peeling the slime you're, off you're, of you're peeling her. the slime off. Yeah, is it working? Okay. It's so wonderful. Like, it's, it's like, almost like a Hollywood kind of thing. He's pulling the slime away and his beautiful face is looking out of the slime. Uh, Thanks, buddy. You're still a little bit high. Okay, pull the dice. A little bit high. Uh, actually, uh, you kiss her. Because you're still a little bit high. Yes, it's bad. No, actually, it's not bad. It's good. It's good. A six would be bad. So you kiss her. What do you do? I probably might punch you a little bit. I guess I'm a skeezy pig, so yeah, I get hit and then she kisses back or something. It's a romantic moment. And then I say something cheesy. Like, like uh, would you like, like to see my helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this dragon, get on a helicopter, and ride off into the sunset together. Why not? But not yet. Right, but Actually, I, I planned that, but it just doesn't work out. This, this, okay, um, okay, so she is at least not suffocating anymore, okay? Uh, but can, can I, wait, wait, can I determine whether or not she still has guns, the camera? The guns are somewhere in the slime. We can't so, pick through the slime for the guns? You can't pick through the slime. Okay, we're picking through the slime for the guns. Pick through the slime, okay. But do we, do, do we find the guns? A little bit later, okay. not, no, it takes some time. It, is the, the Roman Catholic uh, dragon Sex happy dragon, yeah. uh, with uh, prenuptial uh, dealings here? Like, uh, you know, like... So if, if, if the dragon pays attention to the slime thing there... Uh, yeah, I mean, there is something going on. No, he's, he's in pain. He's ah, just like... He's, uh, he's in his own no, world. No, there's... He's... Bad. What are you doing? I still wanted to explore. Okay. Yeah, there are lots, tons of stuff. Glass tubes and, and strange liquids and acid. And Is there a lamp he can get at least? What? Is there a lamp he can get at least? Yeah. Can I get a lamp? <laughs> there's a lamp. Is yes. there a mailbox with instructions? And there's even something better. There's, like there is a, there's an oil lamp and there is, a, like a, there is like a... There's a light switch. Oh, turn on light. Turn on light, yes? Lights which are... Oh, wow! You even can see better that it's a big, like, store for medical supplies. Yes. And a door. Uh, yeah, I use my lockpicking skills on the door, of course. You what? My lockpicking skills. Uh, oh, is it open? Is it locked? The door is open. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so easy. Sometimes it's so easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I have introduced... I want to introduce you a new character. So, what you actually are now seeing is a giant laboratory, okay? And there's a giant laboratory, and inside the laboratory, there's a scientist, and he looks like him, okay? Is he a rock star? You actually don't know is he a rock star? Uh, he's pretty, he looks pretty much like a rock star. Right? So, he is in there. He actually doesn't see you because he doesn't, like, he doesn't expect you coming from, like, the storage room. Yeah? And what you can see is a conveyor belt. And on a conveyor belt, there are actually 
babies, living babies on the conveyor belt. Human babies? Human babies on a conveyor belt. Okay. That's crazy. Um, what are you doing? Well, being who I am, I guess, basically, I, I, I have to look at the whole situation and find myself... Uh, it's the perfect song. <laughs> completely song. unable to suppress a, a, a rather loud... Holy shit! <laughs> okay, and of course, now, now you are in the game because you, there's a guy with a southern accent screaming holy shit in your laboratory. And actually the baby starts screaming. <laughs> and I say, yeah, hello, how are you? Uh, would you care for some chewing gum? Expiration dates all. No thanks. Okay, what are you doing? He's flabbergasted. Uh, I'm flabbergasted. Uh, Ten Mulatto. You are looking for these? No, I already have mine. Oh, okay. uh, but <laughs> they're actually my items. Uh, Maybe just try something unusual and just ask you what's going on here. Uh, and I say, ah, what do you think's going on here? Nothing. It's just uh, some some babies here, um, and that was not a dragon that you were looking at. This, these are not the babies you were looking for, <laughs> and that's. I saw sulfur. that film. I saw that film. It don't that's, work. But wait, that smell of that. sulfur, that's just uh, eggs. I'm cooking them on the s stove. And there are many eggs. There's one egg, two eggs, uh, red eggs and blue eggs. I rolled the dice. I rolled the dice. No, you, you don't see anything, no. It's gum? interesting how dumb both of you are together. <laughs> uh, uh, I have a, <laughs> excuse me, I have a household robot with me as an item. Can he roll the dice? Yes. Wow! Your, your household robot is cleverer than you, and the household robot points out that there is a big supply on the wall, a big, big jars with interesting, like, uh, dark red, uh, purplish liquid. And actually it looks like a strange kind of blood. And there are many, many, many bottles filled with this blood. And do I, sh do I, so, uh, and I disable, or I attempt to disable the robot with my special IR ray. Which I shine into its eyes. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, well, I'd like. Well, yeah. Okay, roll the dice. Roll the dice. Ah! <laughs> no! Ah! Um, no, 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 no. Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, since the household robot is so smart, I'll have him like let a look. Uh, have him. Have a look at, uh, at some of the jars, right? Bring, bring me some jars and examine them. Oh. Um, okay. and can I? The household robot is as dumb as you, so it's, no, it doesn't work. Can so I do something now? You can, yeah. Just because, I mean, he tried to attack our toast, uh, the, the robot thing, yeah. right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put him in a, in a sleeper hold. So, uh, okay. To okay, make that's him. Good. That's good. Uh, pass out, basically. And actually, you're definitely you're. Because I can wrestle, I would were, think. You were in the army, and he is obviously like some, like you know, some science, 
Yeah, perfect. You have him. You have him. You have him. Boosh. Okay. Good. In the meantime, what are you doing? Okay. You have the gun, the slime gun. You have it. Uh, the, the camera and the gun and the slime and. and uh, doesn't. Like I mean, probably you have to try. Want to try? Yes. Uh, it seems to work again. Yeah. But there is almost no battery left. Me? Yeah. Yeah. So even if I, I, I touched the dragon and you know he went into this uh, religious fervor. Uh, I sort of now remember that I know a certain professor uh, and maybe I can replenish my uh, substances from his laboratory and I decide to... to it's in, you, you have the strange delusion that there is a professor in a laboratory and you walk there and in fact it's true there is a professor in a laboratory. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, no, no, yeah. He's in a sleeper hole. Yeah, he's in a sleeper hole. That, 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 that's what it is. What are you doing with him? Right now. Yeah. Yes, what, 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 what do you do? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep him in the sleeper hole and hope that while I'm doing this, he is going to be trying to make some sense because obviously your robot is more intelligent than I am. Okay. This is you a see hint. What are you doing with the situation? So he's. I, I have him do something. Please. We interrogate him, like creatively. He's unconscious. A sleeper hold means that I'm basically restrict. No, 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 no. He's not That's unconscious. what a sleeper no, hold no, no, no. is. Oh, then I'm sorry. I'm a stupid god. But no, you just have him and he still can talk. Oh. All right. And then. And I'm quite conscious you're, you're... What the hell are you doing here? What are, what are those, what, what? Are those babies I'm seeing on that, uh, are those human babies on that thing? You better talk a little bit clearer. I talk clearer. No, but, I'm not gonna, you know, no. You gotta loosen up a no. little bit. Your armpits are, are smelling like onions. That's the point. <laughs> it can know? get worse, trust me. Uh, uh, much. Ah, no. uh, so I still have my belt buckle, right? I, I just, my belt. Okay, I I turn my belt to uh, lightning bolt mode, and I lightning bolt, lightning bolt to the dragon. Yeah. Okay. So. So, lightning bolt, add dragon, dragon, paralyzed. So, so I slip out, so I slip out from underneath his armpits, I attempt to slip out, I try to slip out from underneath his armpits, and attempt to reach and It doesn't the work, lever. it doesn't work. It doesn't work? Well, it's gotta work. No. Um, what are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a noogie. A noogie. Like that. Okay, he's giving you a noogie. Do you want to talk? Uh, I'll talk only if I can reach my lever over there. No. Okay, so what are you doing? I mean, the dragon is paralyzed. You're free of slime. Your helicopters are gone. You were happy that it actually worked, and he, he's actually already in there somewhere, in and, the uh, uh, and, and like already there. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm documenting everything, going through and explaining what just happened with the little battery we have left on the camera, looking for an escape route of the tunnel. Okay, you have like five or six minutes of battery left and you're filming 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 so you're actually going like to the hole i guess stuff okay right good cover, okay y you can't see us coming okay. hopefully can you just let me talk here i've got he's obviously got something to do with the various evil things that have been happening to us mm -hmm. i currently have him in a hold he can't move but he could talk and 
we are able now in a somewhat safe space to, to, to try to figure out a little bit what's going on here. Obviously, I can't stop holding him for fear that he may reach this lever that he wants to reach. Assuming if he wants to reach a lever when he's in a situation like this, it will probably do something bad to us. He's, he's still my minion, actually. So now that I've so paralyzed the... Now that I've paralyzed the dragon, wait, wait. can I can I can I finally see if I've like freed myself of his? Yes, yeah. try, try, try. <laughs> You're free. <laughs> After a certain amount of time, and we are almost like two hours it's now playing. Okay, I think we have to end at some certain point in time because we can't play the whole night long. Although it would be possible. Okay, yeah. I, I, no, what I want, no, I want to know, you know, because we should go back on the corruption, on the, on the corruption of the government in Köln. So, Jesus McKinsey, Network News. Yes. It's interesting that this guy you have never met before knows more about your job than yourself. But I was it's fine. getting no, there. You were, we you were, were, talk, we were getting the fine, compelling fine, images before the Role interview. playing be, is a highly be, political thing, so it's almost like in the Bundestag. Yeah, like nobody actually knows what they are doing, but they are doing it. Okay. Because that's role playing. Wait, are you okay. an Austrian coming I, in criticizing the German government now? You're pretty much a German government now. Yeah. He, and he's definitely not a green. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what am I, a Christian Democrat or something? Of course. Yeah. Nah, no problem. But he but, doesn't know. But I know because I'm into shady dealings. <laughs> yes. I yeah. tried to get this information from him, I'll have you know. Okay. Yeah. You were filming. What are you doing, actually? Well, while we still have the video, I would like to get him to talk about what he's doing while, it's, while we still have the battery. Okay, so you are interrogating him. Okay, okay. He's nudgy, 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 and you are ow, ow, ow. Or... So only inches away as he gives me the Nokia, I am able to... Flip a switch. No, you're able to try to flip I sw try to flip a switch. I try, but this switch, once flipped, you can try. I know. So you're trying okay. against both him and I me. I try to flip the switch. Okay. Can we hold the gun to his head? Yes. No, I don't. Why am I so switch. slow? No, 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 no. He's on you. She has a gun against your head. That's hard. It's hard to. I used the last of my mind control over my minion to get him to tell me where the hell he is. <laughs> so you're trying again to 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 mind control him. Yeah, try it, try it, try it. Now, like a second, the second one, second one. One is not enough. It works. Yeah, that that works. Yes, yes. So my minion okay. comes running at me mind with control. the guy. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just wanted Drag to tell you where he is, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah! What? <laughs> so now I see, oh my goodness, there's an escape route. Look, my minion has somebody. I rush over to my minion. What's going on, mind slave? Who the hell is this that you've nookied nearly to death? Right now, is it? It's yes, not my on. belt is working. I just it's lightning on. my goddamn it's dragon. It's on and you touched it. Like 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 lightning bolt mode. It's like lightning bolt like, mode. Like, like the mic, the mind reading thing is not the belt. The belt is the Tesla. That's why I asked about the belt. He had his belt on. Yeah, I mean, I, it's on lightning bolt mode. You don't know how to read switches. You don't know how to read. There's like this. The master slave thing is not really working here, I guess, sir. Well, if the bond is broken now. I just had to figure out where the hell he went. Now, oh look, there's a hole. Oh, there's a scientist. Hey, scientist, why is my minion noogieing you? <laughs> Two. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> to, I go into the bathroom and interrogate the scientist. Number two. <laughs> no, I bolt and interrogate the goddamn scientist first. <laughs> you fail. But it's like four to one. There's like three of us on the fucking scientist. Are we like the worst interrogators ever? This oh, he was? looked into the obelisk and saw that it was full of fail. <laughs> Johannes, it has to be four to one. He has to roll once and then everyone rolls four times. And if his or roll three to run is less, three. then everyone's... Who, five. what? We all have to roll now? Yeah. For what? Because there's to, three to, of us there's, on there's, that there's guy. There's three of you on him trying to get him to tell you what, he want, what you want to hear. So you all roll. 
Okay. Five. Five. Now Ivory roll because you have a gun to his head. Three. That's eight. Plus two for gun. That's you know. Well, that's fine. So that's that's nine. Now you roll. Go back to DC. Now you roll. Scientist has to roll. Yeah. Is he, is he on the scientist? Okay, okay, a roll Electro Boy. That's nine we have so far, plus two, that's 11. Okay, scientist roll. You get to roll once, because it's just one of you. And? Oh, oh that's one. a fail. So 11 to one, they, you tell them what they want to hear. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll tell you what you want to hear. Can we take his mask off, too? <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't for those meddling kids, none of this ever would have happened. I'm no, sorry. It's the mayor! <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Wilkerson. The Jeepers. <laughs> okay, here's what happened. Well, shall tell I tell them? Tell. Okay, fine, I'll tell you what happened a long time ago. I was making my living, making matzo with the blood of the firstborn Gentile children in the village. And I had to change careers because I wasn't making money. So I started to deal in dragons, in dragon blood. And so what I've been doing is I've been taking this bootleg dragon blood and bathing the children of the wealthy in the town in this blood to give them powers of immortality. So he's pretty much into like a two-class uh, health system kind of thing. Uh, and uh, you discovered it, and now you can save the babies, and he can send his tape and he will be really rich and famous. How are we going to save the babies from immortality? What? How are we going to save the babies from immortality? Actually, that's the second part, but not tonight. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> but, but wait. Um, if you guys want to stick around just for, it's not very many of us, but if, if all of us and all of you, I want to get a bunch of people singing. Last night I wrote a CCC anthem. So if everyone, it would be really great. We should actually not film it here, but somewhere else. We should? It's, a, it's such a strange, maybe okay. we should do it somewhere outside. Oh. We could actually go to the rocket. The problem is, is that I need them to hear the... So before before we're going to the next stage and uh, maybe recording the CCC anthem, a big applause, big 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 applause for Nick Farr. And where is Ivory the Slime Lady? I don't know. She's somewhere. Uh, of course, for Jens Oleg, the Korean guy. Scott Bieben, the evil scientist. <laughs> Stefan Tiron, the Romanian uh, whatever dealer. <laughs> Buford Swatsky, AKA Dave Daddy D. Dempsey. Give him the clap. What, what am I missing? Where's the. the, uh, uh, the uh, now, first, Jason Brown, who was a really great naked guy with swollen testicles. And of course, the other guy with swollen testicles, Jason, uh, not Jason, Jonathan Mann! Okay. Fucking Jesus Christ. Okay. 
The truth is we have about five hours left to the game and you guys are stuck here. <laughs>